I uh, just wanted to come on and give you a little announcement. Um, <laughs> bring it in. Um, it is the first. Edit, 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 edit. All right. Pulling up my. I was going to try to do the ACT challenge, which is extend a page, add some legs, use a map. Mm. Yeah, I'm not at home. I don't have all my stuff. I have to figure this one out. Um, Emerald Creek CS. Uh, Kim Evans is the owner there. And um, check out their products because they have some really, really beautiful products. I think you're going to like them. And... Um, so... They're going to send me some stuff, and I'm going to show you the stuff in person, so I think you're going to enjoy that. I'm going to try to get the camera down, try to get something videotaped. Who knows? <laughs> this is a disaster. Hello, this is a disaster. Okay, didn't think this through. I'm raiding my uh, daughter and granddaughter's stash because I didn't have any glue, so I found this little... K and Company smash pen glue stick that I've given to my daughter and granddaughter, and I didn't have any washi tape, so I raided the stash for that, and I got a piece of washi tape, and yeah, we'll see what comes out of this. <laughs> follow me down. So I'm going to apologize for the angle and everything because I don't have my usual studio set up here. I'm working at the kitchen table at my daughter's place and I know my hand's in the way. But I will walk you through what the process is. I have an artist trading card watercolor card stock and I'm just using some watercolor pencils and I'm drawing floral images on that watercolor paper. I'm not really sure where I'm going to go with this whole process, but the first thing that comes up for this Artist Trading Card Challenge says step one is extend a page. So I'm just laying in some background on my original page, and there will be layers going on here. If you have not heard of the Pick a Stick Challenge, we are a Facebook group that challenges uh, the group each month to make an artist trading card and to also make a, an art journal page based on the prompts that we pull from a bucket of sticks. So, um, this is why I am creating these things in the order in which I am doing them. So, I have some images on there now, and I'm just going to take some watercolor crayon uh, and add some color to those images. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going to actually use that washi tape that I got from my granddaughter's stash, and I'm going to extend the page because that is... The prompt says extend the page. So, and there's my big fat hands right in the way again. So sorry. But that's all I'm doing is taping those two pieces together so that I can fold it up and it becomes more like a card than an artist's trading card. Um, there'll be an inside and an outside piece. So now I have two pieces together, and the next thing that I do is get those crayons that I was talking about. Um, these are some that I got from Judicans many moons ago, um, and there are all kinds of watercolor crayons out there. So, you know, when I travel, I just take a bag of stuff. 
you know, I, I look around the room and I grab things that I think I might use together. Um, so I have a bag with a few pencils and uh, watercolor brushes and some watercolors and um, a couple of journals and a few pieces of watercolor cardstock and some artist trading cards and a little bit of gesso, a few stencils, and that all goes in one uh, shopping bag. And so I can very easily take my art on the road because I have enough supplies there to keep me busy and that's what I'm using. I'm, I'm working out of my shopping bag. Now, the other day when I was at the hospital with my daughter, I created several uh, art journal pages just working out of that shopping bag. And I didn't really uh, take anything out of that bag because I was traveling to my other daughter's house and um, I thought, well, I might have time to create something there. So that's what I'm doing is I'm using my stash, my shopping bag full of art supplies in um, creating with the limited supply of things that I have. You don't have to have a huge art room with all kinds of supplies to create. You just need to use your imagination. So I didn't have a brush for my gesso, so fingers are good. And I'm just pushing that gesso through a stencil because the prompt here says use lace. Well, in my limited art supplies, I don't have lace, but I do have a lacy stencil. So I'm going to apply the gesso to the surface of my artist trading card and create a lacy look on the front surface of that tag. Now that gesso is going to take a little while to dry um, and I didn't bring a heat tool with me so I'm just going to clean up my stencil and um, move on to the interior of my artist trading tag because I have multiple surfaces now that I put things together. So you can see the texture on the surface of that artist trading card. And the next step says use a map. Well, like I said, I had been at the hospital. My daughter was having surgery. And they gave me a map of the hospital so that I could go find the cafeteria or the waiting room or a number of different things that I might utilize while we were there. So I'm just going to place a trading card on that map and cut a piece out to go on the interior of that folded card. And here is where I get out that glue stick that I raided my granddaughter's supply of her <laughs> tools that she has for her planner in uh, use that glue stick to put that map piece down on my artist trading card. So the front of my tag is wet and I need to move to a different surface and moving to the inside I have my map also drying so I have that blank piece and I'm going to start drawing some images and doing some stenciling on that particular piece. So I just get my watercolor uh, pencil out and start sketching in a face. Um, I'm thinking I don't want this to look really human. I'm thinking more pixie-like or Vulcanese or something. You see I've got a pointy-eared creature there. and. Um, so I'm just uh, going to color that in, use some gesso along with the watercolor to help seal that so it doesn't move. The nice thing about these uh, things like watercolor pencil or crayon or inks that are water soluble is that you can seal them 
with a matte medium or a gesso or some other permanent uh, means just so that once you've uh, created your art it doesn't continue to migrate. So I'm just layering some color, some blues and greens into the background and continuing to uh, shade and color in my image. I did bring along a small stash of small stencils that would be six by six or smaller. Um, since I'm working on smaller art, I don't need great big 12 by 12 images to bring with me. And actually, if you're working on smaller art, you want smaller stencils that have uh, smaller openings to use on your art. So those uh, six by six and smaller are some of my favorites to just have with me when I'm traveling. So I'm going to use um, some of those colors through the stencil and that's not working real well. I try wetting it, I try doing a number of different things, rubbing it off with a um, baby wipe and I do get a little bit on the surface but not quite the effect that I was looking for. So then I decide that rather than using the crayon for this, I should get my, I have some of the very small uh, Ranger Distress inks with me. And so I decide that I'm going to use some of those with my stenciling and create some uh, background for this particular tag. So this is a Zig Clean Color uh, water brush pen and I just put that down and add a little gesso with my water brush over the top of that. But um, I had purchased just a few of those to try out to see if I liked them and I decided that I did like them so I bought a set. So I have, you know, the original few that are oddball colors that I... Uh, through in my bag so when I travel I have some of those with me too and I keep my other set at home intact. So there's some more colors coming out. Um, these watercolor crayons are fun to play with and layer with and you know just continue stenciling, continuing adding color, deciding where I want things, putting on, wiping off and um, creating a background. Okay, so I videotaped my uh, artist trading card for the Pick a Stick Challenge for the month of January. And the first step was to extend the page. And I did that by adding an additional ATC size card with some washi tape. Then the next step says, to add some lace. Well, I didn't have any lace with me, I am traveling, but I did have a lacy stencil. So you can see I applied gesso through that lacy stencil and had the appearance of lace on the front of my trading card. The last step says use a map. Well, part of my travels this week was to go to the university hospital with my daughter while she had surgery. And I actually had a piece of the hospital map with me, still in my bag. So I glued that with a glue stick from this Smash collection uh, that I borrowed from my granddaughter, because she has artsy things too. Glued that to the back of this card, uh, used some stenciling and some inks and some watercolor pencils and some gesso and just created um, a card here and what it says is what I'm thinking as I'm traveling and I don't have all of my supplies with me it's what do I want 
And do I really need those things? No, it's what I want and what I really need. So that's it for my card for the month of January. Uh, please be checking back for the month of February. I'll be posting some things for um, Emerald Creek when I get them in, and I'd love to share them with you. So that's it for now. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.